couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome improvisation lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. In this video we're gonna discuss a little bit of funk, funk rhythm and how to improvise using the funk rhythm. Now for this we'll need to know three chords. E dominant sharp 9 or E7 sharp 9 or E sharp 9, never mind how you call it, it's E sharp 9. So um, it's 8, 7, 6, and 7 on strings 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, it's 7, 6, 7 on strings 5, 4, and 3. Okay, uh, C7 chord head, just up here. Okay, so you have this 7, 6, 7 with the sharp 9. It's uh, 8 on the second string. And now the second chord is A7 like this. Okay, it's 8. 6 and 5 on strings 2, 3, and 4, okay? This, it's out of this, okay, we have, we have it in this the bar shape, but we have the open A bass string, so why not use it? Now, if you want to turn this into an even more uh, exotic and funky chord, just take 8 from the second string to 7, and then you have A13. Okay, so it's seven, six, five on strings two, three, and four. Now the third chord is B seven, but before B seven we'll play F seven as kind of a two five one move. Okay, so it's gonna be F sharp seven, B seven, and back to. Sharp nine. So the F sharp seven is just a C seven shape up at seven, the seventh fret. So seven nine eight nine on strings two to five. Or you can just play C seven and raise it up from seven to nine. Okay. And B seven, of course, is a bar on seven E shaped without the pinky or pinky at. 10 on the second string. So the rhythm here is very important. We're gonna add a bass move as well, but the rhythm is the basis for everything. So it's one, two, three, four. Okay, and the idea is to pick it quickly. Okay, now the basic funk move here is to play the chord on the beat, on the first beat, and then just mute the strings. Okay, but there's nothing funky about it. So you need to add a little bit more. So this is a little more funky. Now what's going on here? It's ta 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 ta. Okay, it's all downstrokes except for the third note, which is on an upstroke. And this is the off beat. Now the off beat is what makes everything funky. Even if you play only the first beat and then randomly play a chord on an upbeat, you'll get a funky sound. that's your next exercise to try and play the first beat okay the chord on the first beat and then just randomly pick an upstroke and play the chord okay now don't worry if it sounds awkward at first this is just uh, for getting used to the idea of improvising with funk, with the chords, okay? We're not playing funk yet, we're just uh, getting used to the idea of accentuating the off beats. Okay, so again, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down. That was a little bit 
stressful, uh, but you see, you see what I'm trying to show you, right? Randomness. That's uh, that's the improvisation part. Now the um, the rhythm, uh, the basic rhythm that you can use is this, the one that I showed you at the start. It's dum 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 dum. Okay, and it's down. Okay, down, down, up, down, down. And if you keep playing the 16th notes, you'll see that it comes a lot easier than if you have to think about it. Okay? Down, down, up, down, down. Okay, now let's add a bass move. Okay, five hammer on to seven on the sixth string and then five hammer on to seven on the fifth string. Okay? And then you play the open sixth string and then start the rhythm. This cuts the rhythm in half, like this. Okay, and now we're playing a little bit of funk. So it's okay, five hammer on to seven on the sixth string, then on the fifth string, and then the open sixth string. Then you have half the rhythm. Okay, this replaced the first couple of strokes. So what you're playing here is down, up, down, like this. Okay? Got it? Look at my hand. Down, up, down, and then again. Now this should come easily if you did the previous exercise of playing random up and down strokes, okay? It'll be a little more difficult if this is the first thing you attempt. So try the first one. And once you're feeling free to pick whatever you like, whenever you like, then try to add the bass notes. add the A chord. So you play five hammer on to seven on the fifth string and then on the D string and then you play the open A string. Okay? And then play the A7 okay, with eight on the second string or A13 with seven on the second string. Or eight, eight, seven on the uh, second string to create a lick. back to okay now um, of course instead of uh, eight on the second string you can also play seven and then you get an E9 okay which is also a funky chord okay but it's less um, tensioned it's got less tension than this one so I prefer this one now, after you're finished with E, A, E, play the F sharp seven, then B seven, and then go back to the beginning. And then and you can slide it. Or you can play uh, B flat 13, now that I think of it. Right? It's, uh, it's got a lot of tension. It's got the same note as the sharp nine. So um, it's, Eight, eight, seven on strings two, three, and four, and on the sixth string you have the B bass seven. Okay, so okay, it's kind of an augmented chord. Right, so okay, now the last step uh, for complete funky freedom is to slide or um, get the chord out of place. You can slide the chord, okay? Take the chord half a step down and slide it back up. Or slide it from a fret up 
back down. Okay? It sounds a bit weird, but in context, sometimes it works. And you can do the same with A. Okay? And you can also play both variations. Okay, play both notes. Okay, both frets I mean, sorry. And you can also do okay, a fret down, then a fret up. Okay, something like this. It all depends on how much you're feeling it at the moment. So I'll try to get into it and show you a little bit of um, a little bit of funky improv. Okay, wait a second, I just remembered something else, something very, very important. You don't have to overburden your funk. Don't play the bass move uh, on every bar. Don't play a slide all the time. Don't play too many accentuations. Just let it flow and add one variation at a time. For example... For example, I did C and B, okay? C7 to B7, that was from a fret up to B7, okay? It's the same idea, it's the same kind of idea, and you can try to do it with the F sharp 7 as well, but again, don't overdo it. Try to feel the rhythm. Now, this was an example. I'll try to forget the cameras there and actually get into it to show you a little bit of what I mean by improv. Okay, you see, just let the rhythm flow and try to speak through rhythm, try to speak rhythmically, use the rhythm to your advantage. And I just said the same thing three different ways, but sometimes that's the only way to teach. So I'll let you go funk off into the horizon, whatever that metaphor means, but you have fun with this. I gave you enough tools. You just go and use whatever you see fit. And I wish you a lot of fun with this and a lot of funk with this if you want to um, get a bit cliche. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.